Hey everyone, it's Emily. I'm back. Welcome to the video. Today I wanted to discuss a couple different resources that I have found to be really helpful in continuing to kind of grow um, my UX knowledge, I guess. So I have some like up here on the screen that I'll be referencing, but every week I think I'm going to try to do a roundup of the best like resources that I've kind of found or articles that I've read or podcasts or whatever and share them. So this week I'll share five different um, resources. So the first is called Spatial Software by John Palmer and this basically gives really great examples of spatial interactions and how we can set up interfaces to help accommodate for a spatial environment. And I feel like that sounds very wishy-washy and I can't really explain it quite as well as the article does, but basically you have like your objects and your elements and then how they interact and what their properties are, you know, are different. And so just setting up an environment to accommodate for different types of spatial elements and how they interact with each other is one of the things that the article kind of goes through and highlights and gives different examples. So really recommend that one. I know I feel like I gave it a very bad pitch, but it's a very interesting um, talk. The other thing that I recommend is on Netflix, they have a show called Abstract. And if you are in design, you probably have stumbled across it. But I recently was having a conversation about typography and there was a typography typeface abstract episode. So I ended up watching it and I found it pretty helpful. Like it kind of went through the history of typeface design and just all the different things and how the designers like come up with new typeface and what kind of goes all into it and just found it super interesting because I never really learned too much about typography and typeface. It was more just kind of like a passing thing in school. So I found it super interesting to kind of learn more about that, but it's called Jonathan Holfler Typeface Design and it's um, on Netflix. The show is called Abstract and that's just the episode name, but really recommend it. Um, it's just kind of how to develop it and how to use it or like how to get that feeling and experience across and it's i found it super interesting so hopefully you will too next one is a podcast and it's called the design details podcast and the episode is visual design and craft and that's basically goes through and it's just a conversation um, about product designer interviews and how things kind of can break down in the interview process when you're trying to hire amazing product designers or UX designers, whatever, interchangeably used in this conversation. Um, but one of it goes through some of the, the tips that people see when trying to hire product designers, like maybe not being able to tell a story, going through your portfolio, some hidden gems that people really like to see in candidates but don't necessarily see a lot such as like curiosity and kind of the ability to be able to distill complex problems down into a simple one sentence um just having those different abilities so i don't know i find it kind of interesting just to hear okay yes i am a designer but like what do other designers that are hiring people want to know and want to see in the interview process so particularly if you are trying to get into the field or moving jobs, give it a listen. I thought it was pretty helpful. All right, and then the final resource that I recommend this week is, oh wait, that's only four. Fourth one that I recommend this week is it's called Big Tablets Are Coming, Microsoft Surface Studio and Giant iPads by Evan Miller. And it basically is just an article or a blog that explores the way like touch surfaces and big tablets are going to change the design game and like kind of what we can do because right now it kind of ex it it goes into exploring okay the bigger the monitors that you have like the more we like it and you can see more data you can you know have more elements on the screen whatever but it's really hard to scale that and how does using more like touch-based screens and software um, impact our our game and 
it makes more sense and is generally more intuitive when you are using a touch screen, um, especially if you are designing and kind of just like talks about that and it's, I don't know, find it once again, pretty interesting. And also how is that gonna impact further like software design? You know, like, are we gonna have to start considering, okay, yes, now people are using a touch, touch surface tablet along with a monitor, along with, um, you know, a keyboard. Like how does, how do all of those interact with each other? And something to consider, you know, as technology keeps developing and these tablets keep getting bigger and better and probably more useful. Okay, and then the final, actual final um, article that I wanted to recommend is called Seamful Design and Ubicomp Infrastructure by Matthew Chalmers. So this is more is an academic journal or academic paper, but it explores how to create seamless interaction. So normally, or seem seem full interactions, like I guess, but basically when you're working in certain environments, like you're gonna end up having these seams that are very visible to the user where there's just gonna be like no data for that one spot, or um, it's gonna kind of glitch there or something like that. And how do we want the user to interact with that? Like rather than trying to hide it from them, why don't we try to expose it? And then the user themselves can kind of play with it and manipulate it themselves. So rather than working just exclusively on the interface, they're also manipulating the infrastructure, like the seams of this environment that they're working in. So once again, found it super interesting, which is why I'm talking with you guys about it, but it's, I don't know, it kind of changes the way that you can think about things. Like rather than having something be a flaw, how can we actually bring that in and get the user engaged with that specific flaw and use it to our advantage? But I don't know, hopefully this video is helpful. Find some of these things interesting. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. It really supports my channel. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos and hope you have a great rest of your day. All right, bye.